You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. What role does vitamin D play in all of this? Tyler Perry dropped this video uh, yesterday, and I said, you know what? Let's have this conversation uh, with the doctor. So this is what Tyler said yesterday on his Instagram. Talk about something that's very serious. And listen, this is not a cure for COVID-19. Please hear me clearly. This is not a cure for COVID-19. Um, but I have a, a bunch of my doctors. Um, I talk to them quite often. And my dermatologist in uh, L.A., Dr. Programs, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant woman. Um, and we were talking about vitamin D. And for, for me, my vitamin D is low. It's always been low. Uh, for most African-Americans, it's low. Um Everybody that I know who goes to the doctor regularly, all the black people that I know who go to the doctor regularly, their, their vitamin D is low. And why this is important is because it's about immune health. Vitamin D helps with immune health and respiratory health. And um, what I read in a study out of Spain and Italy and China is that a lot of people who died from COVID were low in vitamin D. Now, listen to me. I think that if America were this entire nation was keeping record of who was dying and if they were low in vitamin D or deficient in different areas, we would know it. But apparently no one is keeping a record, which is insane to me. So why am I saying all this? I'm saying that I think that because we are African-American people, we are naturally deficient because of the melanin in our skin. It, it uh, blocks out vitamin D, okay? It blocks out vitamin D and for the most part, not all of us, I'm not saying all of us, but a lot of us just don't like to be in the sun. And that's where vitamin D comes from. It comes from the sun. So please, please see your doctor if you can or call them when you're doing telehealth or what and ask them about checking your vitamin D. Don't want anybody to go to the hospital right now. I know it's really difficult to, to do, but a vitamin D supplement is very, very helpful in, in just immune health. So I've been telling everybody I know, take your vitamin D. Dr. Grimes would be very happy that I'm telling you this. Because we as black people, we got to take care of ourselves. Now, now, listen, not just black people are, are deficient in vitamin D, but we are at higher numbers than others because of the melanin in our skin. So vitamin D can help with immune and respiratory health. So please take your vitamin D. God bless you guys. Stay safe. Um, I love you. We'll talk soon. All right, joining us right now is Dr. UTB Essien, core investigator at the Center for Health Equity Research and Promotion at the Pittsburgh Healthcare System. So, Doc, you heard Tyler Perry talk about vitamin D, what, what folks are saying, what they're seeing in Italy. Any truth to that in terms of the United States? Is that uh, an impact here? We also, of course, with, with the craziness we heard last week with Trump talking about the sunlight and the body and can we shoot the, shoot the light on the inside out, all that nonsense. Dr. Burks did also say the importance of the role the sun can also play in impacting this virus. Please explain. Sure. So first of all, I applaud Tyler Perry for staying attuned to the um, Italian Chinese literature. Um, I think there, I see noted the immune system does play an important role in managing any virus, whether it's this novel coronavirus or the influenza virus. Um, and when patients present to the emergency department or end up in the intensive care unit with a severe respiratory infection, vitamin D levels are really not a, a laboratory test that we check, um, just because by that point, it doesn't necessarily influence or, or further um, change the course of the infection. I think as has been suggested, and not just by um, him, but other commentators, vitamin D levels, vitamin C, all of our, our natural vitamin levels are really important to keep on top of and are, are just a part of the prevention planning that we advise any patient during this crisis. But I, I would hesitate to say that vitamin D is the be all and end all of this pandemic or the reason that it's, it's disproportionately infecting individuals of color as we're seeing right now. So when you heard Dr. Burks last week talk about uh, the role the sun plays in this, what about that? Yeah, so I think that that may be important. And as we know, the data around so many different um, processes, whether it's actual um, medications to treat 
uh, an acute infection or or being prevented by the sun. You just don't know, given how early we are in the stage right now. Um, I know we've we've heard about ultraviolet light and light affecting um, and being able to clean surfaces, but in terms of its role in preventing individuals from actually um, both preventing the, the disease as well as treating the disease, we just don't have that information right now. So uh, it, it, one of the points that's very interesting when Tyler made that point, I, I think back to a conversation I had with Dad Gatsby. Dan Gatsby, of course, uh, many folks know, was he's, he's the um, a widow of uh, uh, B. Smith. And when he... I uh, was going through his prostate cancer battle. Uh, he, well, I ran into him on uh, streets of New York, and he was like, Roland, he said, same thing. Uh, he said, man, st- get that sun. He kept talking about vitamin D as well. Uh, and and I, so and it was interesting. He just kept, he said, no, he said, man, he said, I said, look, Dan, I play golf, so I ain't got no problem being out in the sun. Uh, I said, I'll be in, in, a, in a sun for a four or five hour golf round. He says, good, because too many of us aren't getting enough sun. Uh, make sense? No, I think that that's right. And as we know, the fact that we are not getting enough sun, I don't think is just because we don't like the sun, as was mentioned earlier. I think we know just in the middle of this crisis that um, individuals of color are more likely to be essential employees. Those employees aren't typically working out in the sun. They are behind um, in offices. They are working in, in maintenance roles or janitorial roles or even within the health system. So unfortunately, it's not a luxury that many of us have to be able to sit out in the sun. Um, So I think that's one important point to make. But I certainly agree that as much as we can, we need to get out there and and practice healthy living, whether it's (coughs) getting out in the sun and exercising, whether it's eating healthy to be able to uh, obtain the majority of the vitamins levels that we need. Um, So a healthy diet is generally going to get us enough of the nutrients we need without needing to supplement it in any way. Um, but of course we know we're, we're being asked to stay home as much as we can right now. So being careful and cautious about um, going out as much as we can would be great. And I, I will also note that um, Tyler Perry mentioned that individuals should try and stay out of the hospital because for to get this um, vitamin D level checked. And um, I, I am approaching that comment with caution as well. If individuals are sick, if they have chest pain, shortness of breath, any really scary <coughs> findings or, or symptoms, please call your doctor if you have one. Please um, show up into the emergency department. Um, more and more data are showing that individuals with heart, heart attacks or chest pain, for example, are staying out of the hospital during this crisis. And, and that, I think, eventually is going to be as scary as the deaths from coronavirus. Well, unfortunately, we also see in the stories of African-Americans trying to get, go, go to the hospital, get tested, being turned away. Let's see if my, uh, my uh, panel uh, has any questions. I'm going to put you in a four box here. Uh, let's first go with uh, Cleo. Any questions for Dr. Essien? Questions? Well, um, I didn't have no, any no, no, questions. No, 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 no. A question. One. A question. <laughs> okay, well, um, I didn't have a question, but I will ask, reiterate, or ask, Is I'm not sure if he's saying that vitamin D and the issue of biosynthesis is relevant or powerfully relevant in this issue, or is it marginally relevant in terms of deflecting the power of the immune system suppression that, that supposedly is at, we're at risk for because of melanin, which supposedly blocks the sun? Right. No, that's an important question. And t- today we don't have any large studies or small studies to show that vitamin D levels are associated with um, higher mortality or higher rate of getting infected. Um, as was mentioned, having a, a whole healthy immune system, both on vitamin D levels and all of the other levels in our body are important. Um, but at this time, I don't believe that um, clinicians or researchers are advising that individuals stock up on vitamin D to boost up those levels, nor are they advising to make sure you check those levels. Um, we continue to advise a healthy diet, eating eating our fruits and vegetables, exercising as much as we can, whether it's getting out in the sun to do that or otherwise. Um, but the data right now are not supporting yet to, to boost up with additional vitamin D levels, if that's helpful. Eugene. What are some of the, uh, I guess, are there any other alternative ways to uh, consume vitamin D other than like natural sunlight? Yeah, so uh, as I mentioned, our, our diet generally has an, an, an sufficient nutrients. I'll have to 
defer to some of my dietitian colleagues in, uh, in this realm, but we are able to get sufficient enough vitamin D through our, our diets. Many of us are eating dairy, some of us are not, but um, dairy has sufficient vitamin D. Um, again, as has been mentioned, many individuals of color have lower levels because of melanin and need or require supplementation. But if today you have not been advised to do that, um, I'll continue to recommend that you, you work with your diet. Um, I'm a primary care physician and vitamin D levels are not um, a test that I generally check in a patient unless mm -hmm. they're coming in with concerning enough findings to do so. Scott yeah. Bolden, final question. Hey, hey doc, uh, Scott Bolden here. Uh, I have personal experience with this vitamin D issue. Uh, I would, I agree with you. If you, you certainly can get vitamin D from a number of, of food and uh, supplies if you're eating a healthy diet. Uh, but I, my doctor, you know, a simple blood test where the doctor directs you on what they want to test, vitamin C, vitamin D levels, all kinds of, a complete workup of your blood indicated that I was deficient in vitamin D. And so he put me on uh, vitamin supplements of about 5,000 milligrams of vitamin D uh, and I've been on them for the last three or four days, um, three or four months. And now after COVID, I'm going to go back and see if that raised my level of vitamin D. And so uh, none of us are spending enough time outside. Uh, I'm not a big milk drinker, but the supplements I find, I mean, I, I, know, I don't notice them other than the fact that I take them every morning and uh, I presume my levels will go up. Uh, that doesn't mean I, I, I'm not going to get COVID or anything, but uh, your patients, if you go to your doctor and and you and and they, you do a full blood work, if you will, you can see what your vital numbers are across the board. It's really a fascinating process, and then obviously you can get supplements if we're not going to get enough through our diet. So uh, I'm on them right now. You don't notice them physiologically, but I'm taking them because of the doctor's order. I urge everyone to get a full blood workup once or once a year or once every two years just to see. So uh, I appreciate your leadership on this issue. And you have a comment on what I just described or what I was prescribed by my doctor? No, I think that that, that sounds right. And like you suggested, I, I similarly um, recommend that anyone gets in to their doc once or twice, um, either annually or biannually. As yeah. we get older, certainly prefer to see, see folks annually and get that full lab checkup. Again, yeah. the, the vitamin D level is not a, a regular check, just as right. the um, kidney tests or the other salts in the blood are. Um, but yeah. certainly if your levels are low and that recommendation is, is needed, I, I support that, what your doc is doing. Um, and like you a said, a it's, a really a, it's usually a simple pill to take. All yeah. right, then. Your A1C level. So thank you very much. All right, Dr. UTV, uh, SC and I appreciate it, man. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Every single night. We've got some of the top black experts. You're not going to see them on cable news or broadcast news because you swear black people aren't experts when it comes to this health crisis. That's why we have this show and why we do what we do every day on Roland Martin Unfiltered. Joining us right now is retired General Russell Honoré. Uh, thanks just for the Black Surgeon General, Dr. Jocelyn Elders. John Hope Bryan, he is the founder of Operation Hope. Senator Kamala Harris of California. Dr. Sadrina Calder, retired General Lloyd Austin. Congresswoman Karen Bass, Commissioner Omari Hardick. Bureau President in Brooklyn, Eric Adams. Dr. Joseph Graves, America's Wealth Coach, Deborah Owens. Dr. Corey A. Bear, Patel Salt. Uh, how University should do. Pastor Jamal Bryant, a uh, doctor, uh, Christy McDowell, Benja Ajilore, senior economist at the Center for American Progress, Gilda Daniels, again, author of the book, The Crisis of Voter Suppression in America. Four stars, uh, General Kip Ward, Dr. Oliver Brooks, is president of the National Medical Association, the president of the American Medical Association, Dr. Patrice Harris, Joby Benjamin, Dr. Alexia Gaffney, infectious disease specialist, Dr. George is Benjamin, uh, executive director of the American, American Public Health Association, Malcolm Nance, family medicine physician Dr. Jen Caudle, Dr. Tashaka Cunningham, a molecular biologist, Kat Stafford. She's a national race and ethnicity reporter for the Associated Press. Dr. Wayne A.I. Frederick, uh, who is the president of Howard 
University, Congresswoman Yvette Clark uh, from the state of New York. William Spring, AFL-CIO economist, uh, Andrea James, Executive Director of the National Council for Incarcerated and Formerly Incarcerated Women and Girls. All right, let's go to Capitol Hill. Congressman Gregory Meeks, Congresswoman Anna Bernice Johnson of Texas, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar, mental health clinician, Jamie Singletary, Prince George's County State's Attorney, Aisha Brayboy, as well as Dylan uh, Harry, ACLU Justice Division strategist. Uh, Dr. Cindy Duke, uh, she is a virologist, Principal Steve Perry of Capital Prep. Health and wellness specialist, Dr. Yolandra Hancock, Desmond Mead, President of the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, Cliff Albright, who is the co-founder of Black Voters Matter, Michael Harriet with the group, the Mina McWhorter, founder of Love by the Hand, Dr. Julian Malvo, economist, president, Emerita Bennett College, coroner Michael Fowler, is the mayor of Atlanta, Keisha Lance Bottoms, mental health therapist, Suzette Clark, Justin Gibney, attorney and political strategist, and Bishop Vincent Matthews, Jr., Dr. Suzette McKinney, CEO and executive director of the Illinois Medical District, Dr. Leon Madugo, president-elect of the National Medical Association, Jana Bailey, mayor of Moss Point, uh, Mississippi, uh, Mario King. We're going to keep driving this thing to make sure our people are fully aware, safe, protected from coronavirus. You're getting the top medical experts, the top business experts, top political experts, top religious experts, because that's why we do what we do, unapologetically and unfiltered. Ain't nobody else in the black media space doing what we do. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.